some 18 months they asked me if I would be the chairman of Wheaton Show which surprised me greatly but nevertheless I accepted the position and I was the chairman of Wheaton Show for the following eight years. It was a very happy period of my life as I had a wonderful committee and a great deal of help by lots of people both on the committee and associated indirectly with it and the show each year was a, a resounding success. It was held in those days on what is called the Kent Fields which belonged to Arthur Webster and his son Michael Webster, farmers in Wheaton. For a village the, only the size of Wheaton, it was, one would could describe, a, a, a big show. And we had many entrants, uh, people enjoyed themselves to the full, the whole village turned out to watch it. And uh, I know our parents used to come um, and have a very happy time there. I'm sorry that these films are rather dark. Uh, I obviously underexposed them, but nevertheless, uh, I think we can see roughly what is happening. The horse and pony section was always well um, supported. Uh, in fact, exceptionally well supported and grew to quite a, a size in in later years by say the early 1970s That's Arthur Neal, who won, always won the horticultural amateur section with his vegetables and flowers. He was a, a Wheaton man. He was a farm worker for Arthur Webster. Super chap. The president that year, my first year, was Mr. Hepworth of Hepworth's Clothes in Leeds.